Yes, we finally found our first snake here in Costa Rica. Really, really excited. Um, oh, wow, wow, wow. Yes, first snake. Uh, I don't know if I, if, if I can show you. It's You can see it here on the fence. It's not a big snake. It is a small snake, but it is a very cool, cool looking snake. I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to insert uh, a nice, a nice video clip of the snake here. So I am here with my, uh, with my son and with my daughter. Uh, they're really excited to see their very first snake here in Costa Rica since we, um, since we moved down here a couple of months ago, and it's absolutely cool. Any snake, any snake is is cool in Costa Rica. You can see it here. It's uh, I'm not I'm not really sure what uh, what species it is. species it is. It is um, if it is venomous, then uh, it's it's not uh, not dangerous at all to humans. I think it's hunting. Uh, I think it's hunting for small amphibians. There's uh, we've seen some very um, tiny frogs hopping around lately. So he's probably he or she is probably uh, hunting for small. Um, small amphibians or whatever, maybe insects, I don't know. I'm not a snake expert, um, but uh, yeah, great, great, great. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, because also because it is, you know, it's, I can almost touch it. I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave it in peace here and we're not going to, to pick it up or whatever. So, um, how did we find it? Well, we had some friends over here, um, um, here uh, uh, during the weekend, during this weekend. And um, um, the lady, um, she went down because they have just uh, moved. Uh, they just uh, left um, to drive back home. And the, um, the moms told us, um, oh, when I stepped out the door, uh, I saw a snake. Because the f uh, our friends were sleeping here in this, uh, in this, tiny, uh, this tiny cabin. Uh, we live down there, and uh, so she said, "Oh, when I stepped out the door, I saw I saw a, a, a snake in front of the door, a green one." So I called my uh, my children, and uh, we went straight up. And um, first we couldn't find it, but then after a couple of minutes, um, I saw it here, um, crawling around on the on this little fence here. So really, really great. I'm I'm so happy. Um, we have been living here in Costa Rica since uh, almost four months now. And this is the very first snake um, we, we encounter here. Um, it, it is an absolutely amazing place where we live. There's the forest, there's a river um, 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 flowing here. And, uh, but this is the very first snake that we, uh, that we encounter here. Um, I don't know why, uh, maybe it, it, uh, it has to do with um, with um, the rainy season that has just ended. Um, it's now 14th or 15th of December. I'm not really sure which date it is, but um, the rainy season has stopped and uh, um, uh, the drier season uh, has begun. So I've seen some changes here in, uh, um, in terms of wildlife, um, more birds, more spiders are coming out and also Snakes. Uh, maybe it's because of the of the rainy season that um, um, you know most of the of the animals, snakes, spiders, whatever, they hide in in the forest or whatever. Um, maybe it has to do with with uh, the end of the rainy season. If you know more more about that, then please leave a comment in the uh, beneath this video. I'm really uh, curious um, why that is, because living for four months in Costa Rica and not see uh, and not see a snake that is uh, you know that is quite quite unusual but um, I'm really happy I'm really happy that this is why I came to Costa Rica um, to be surrounded by rainforest and wildlife and to see snakes uh, just outside of your door and um, so I'm going to find out uh, which species it is um, I'm not really sure um, I looked it up on some, uh, you know, there, there's various applications that you can download where you can, um, you know, they can help you with identifying um, uh, any animal or plant or whatever. So uh, I tried to identify it with an application called iNaturalist, but, you know, um, the app couldn't identify it on a species level. So it has the family of coli something. <laughs> I'm not really sure uh, what the, the, the family name is, but 
Um, I'm sure I'm going to figure out which, which species it is. And um, so I'm going to put a, a nice little clip here of the, um, uh, of the snake. So here's the snake. I just uh, went to the other side of the fence. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's brightly green um, with a black uh, eye stripe. Um, the belly is whitish, grayish, all the way to the back of the snake. It's around, I'm going back to the head, I would guess it's around 50, 60, maybe max 70 centimeters in length. And it's absolutely, absolutely great. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Really cool. I'm really, I'm really, really excited that we found our first little snake here in Costa Rica, especially for the kids, um, especially my son. Um, before, way before we, uh, we, uh, um, um, we moved to Costa Rica, um, he, was, he was excited to see some snakes here. But, uh, you know, uh, the, for the first couple of months, we, we didn't see any, any snakes. So um, first one. Hopefully more, many, many, many more to come, and um, I'm going to I'm going to check this snake out a little bit more. And uh, great, I'm re I'm really happy. I'm I'm sure I'm going to make uh, a lot more videos about uh, the wildlife that I'm uh, encountering here in um, uh, in Costa Rica. Um, there's this is the um, the house we live in, and it's just a short walk up to the river, and then we have to I have to cross a bridge and then into the forest, and. Um, I'm going to make many, many, more, many more videos about uh, about a crazy Costa Rican uh, wildlife. And um, hope you liked it. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.